Hey, what's up guys? Um, got another sold video for you. Um, I'm going to try to do one of these every week, show you what I sold for the past week. Um, that way you guys can hopefully um, look for this stuff out in the wild. Uh, that's kind of the name of the game, right? Always learning stuff and seeing what other people are selling and just constantly growing your knowledge. And that's what I've done watching a lot of YouTube videos and uh, sellers that know more than me. And I'm constantly learning more of what to buy. So thought I'd show you guys what I'm selling. Uh, my eBay store name is LW I Found. That's for Look What I Found. Uh, it's right here on the right here if you want to look that up. And I'll also put a link in the description if you guys want to see what I'm selling. I've got my app here too to show uh, my offers on some of these things because I take a, a pretty good amount of offers on stuff. I like to get stuff sold. All right. Uh, first up, we got this sealed South Park Season 8 DVD. Um, I got seven fifty uh, shipped for it. it. Went media mail, so I think it cost me like two sixty six to ship. I got this in a big lot of DVDs, so I might have had like a quarter into this. I like sales like this. Um, I probably only netted four dollars profit or so, but it was really easy to list. It was easy to ship, and I know that there's next to no percentage of like there being a problem so it's going to go out not going to be an issue and uh kind of a feedback builder okay next up is this 1966 newport uh yearbook i took a best offer of 15 dollars on this one all right i sold one of my um car stereo cassette players i picked these up i guess it's been about two weeks now i bought 46 of them all together they're different brands and everything um, some of them I paid $10 for, some of them I paid $20 for. This one I only paid $10, uh, and it sold for $79.99 plus shipping. This is all new old stock stuff. Here is another one that I sold. Uh, this is a Toshiba. This one I did pay $20 for. It sold for $119.99 plus shipping. Uh, this thing I've had for, gosh, at least six months. I got it at a yard sale. This guy was a, a dealer for a lot of different brands, and he just had a table of, like, stuff that was a dollar, two dollars, so I just bought a ton of it. And this one I took a best offer of twelve dollars. Here is a My Little Pony, um, Princess Celestia. I got these, uh, in a retail shop, and they were a bad buy. I shouldn't have bought these, because I paid five dollars each for them. Um, and they were not light enough to go first class. They had to go priority. So $5 for the product. I think it was like $7-ish for shipping. And then after the fees, I might have made a dollar <laughs> on this. <laughs> I think I bought like three or four of these. So luckily, it, it was it was limited. I didn't buy a ton of them. But yeah, this is a bad buy. This Indianapolis Colts hat, I took a best offer of $10. Um, this was like right after they beat, I think it was right after the game, right after they beat, uh, who was it? The Houston Texans that I sold this. This thing's really cool. I picked this up at an estate sale a couple months back, um, for five bucks. I took a best offer of $30 plus shipping. Um, just kind of, kind of different. A MIDI, MIDI disc composer. Um, the Brother brand, I didn't even know they made stuff like this. I thought they only did like printers and things like that. But I guess they do a little bit of music stuff. It's outdated technology, but it's cool. And I'm sure somebody that's got, you know, a studio or something wanted it for nostalgia reasons. Been selling a lot of this uh, paste ointment. I got this at a uh, local retail store. They clearanced them down to like a dollar. So I bought up the rest they had. Um, I've sold three of them already, and I've still got five left. Uh, they sold for $8.99, free shipping. And they only weigh, with the packaging and everything, about four ounces. I got this ink at a thrift store for a dollar each. Um, they were expired, and the year was 2016. You got to be tricky with the ink because once you get more than three or four years expired, it's kind of hard to sell. What I always do when I find these is I'll I'll search the model and then I'll add the year. So I'll say you know HP 564 2016, and then I'll hit completed and I'll hit sold and kind of look at. If they're selling or not and you can look you could enter 2015 2014 and the older they get the less they sell to a point where like they just don't sell at all and I think these are kind of like right on that threshold um, I actually got a lot of these I got a total of 11 of them and I had two different listings this was one of them and some somebody offered me ten dollars for these and then 16 a piece uh, 
for these. So I had two lots of these and one lot of the other ones. So I got $42 uh, free shipping, and it was nice because I could just combine them all. So I took the offer from the guy. So I had 11 into them. I got $42, and I think that cost me 3 or $4 to ship because uh, they were really light. So I was pretty happy on that return. I found these buttons. Um, my dad gave me a couple boxes of stuff. I think he'd been hoarding it from a yard sale that he got. And he was like, just, you know, do whatever you want with this stuff. So I found these Alaska Iditarod buttons. They're pretty cool. Um, I guess the Iditarod is, uh, it's like a dog race, I think. Some pretty neat graphics on these things. Uh, five buttons. I took a best offer of 15, and they shipped first class. Here is another My Little Pony. Um, I've officially sold through these. So <laughs> I'm done with that bad buy. Uh, here is a Rolling Stones poster. Really cool. I have halfway thought about framing this and putting it in my basement. Uh, I got this at a yard sale probably four or five months ago for five bucks. It sold for $15 free shipping. Here's a PS3 game. I honestly don't remember where I got this. It's been a while. Uh, it was sealed. It sold for $12 free shipping. Here are some Nike shoes. I picked these up last week at a uh, retail store near me. I've been doing a lot of retail arbitrage lately. I'm, I really, I don't sell on Amazon. Um, so I think Amazon would probably be a better fit for retail arbitrage from everything I've talked to people with. I just, I haven't really dipped my toe in it quite yet because I've, I've had pretty good luck selling the stuff on eBay. Um, and I, I like the eBay format, so I've stuck with it. But I paid $11 for these Nikes. And they sold for 35 plus shipping. Here's another pair of shoes. I uh, picked these up for $45. Um, I've been learning that sneakers don't quite sell as well as like boots and work boots. Um, maybe it's just the wrong ones I'm selling. You know, I'm sure like the higher end sneakers will do better. But um, seems like with what I've been finding, I've been doing better with boots. And these uh, Caterpillar Alaska work boots. I uh, picked up for $45, and they sold for $85 plus shipping. I think they sold like the next day. They sold really quick. Here is a uh, little recorder. This was just in a box of music stuff that I got at an auction for a few bucks. Uh, it sold for $13, free shipping. Here's some tape. I've had this for quite a while, at least four or five months, and I actually got... So I had six, I had six of these. I actually ended up getting a bunch of other tape. This was a church sale. And they were just giving this stuff away. So these, they come in like lots of nine rolls. So they're kind of like cellophane together. Um, and I got each stack for a buck. I mean, they were just basically giving me this stuff. Uh, I sold these for $20 um, plus shipping on these. But then I ended up, oh no, wait, I did do free shipping. One of them, I think I had it plus shipping. One was free shipping because they fit nicely into a regional A. So... I still end up making a little over $10 profit on these things. Uh, here's another crimped wheel. Um, this sold full price, $14.99, free shipping. All right. I love this lantern. This thing just has such a great look to it. It is from 1960. I've talked about this before. If you guys don't know, Coleman lanterns actually date. They have a stamp on the bottom of the lantern, so you know exactly when it was made. So it's hard to see here, but it says 560. So that means it was made in May of 1960. So you know exactly when it was made. Um, red, I think, is a pretty desirable color because most of them are green, and the fact that it had some age to it helped it. I got this um, at a local store um, that resales stuff. And I just had a big lot of stuff. So I might have had five bucks into this thing. Uh, and it sold for $50 plus shipping. This thing is really neat. I got this at a store downtown um, that just had a bunch of 80 stuff. It was the same place that I got all those car stereos. I think I ended up paying about 10 bucks for this phone. It was in the box. had all the plastic and everything. So... To be that old is pretty rare to have all that stuff. Um, I did take a best offer of $25 plus shipping on it. This stuff here um, I got at a local print shop that closed down. I paid a dollar or two for it. It's pretty cheap. Um, it was all University of Texas um, like ticket stubs and postcards, like a press box thing, um, some photos, but it was all reproduction. Every, every last piece was a reproduction, and it even had a little tiny... 
reproduction stamp on it. You might be able to see it on this one. The bottom left corner of this one postcard, you can see it says reproduction. So I made sure I put that in all caps of my list, my listing and in my description. That these are all reproductions. Um, a friend of mine, Chris, actually bought these. I uh, noticed that when I went to ship it to him. So, Chris, I appreciate it, man. I hope you enjoy these. Here is a yearbook I sold. Uh, took a best offer of $15 plus shipping on this one. Yearbooks, I never pay more than maybe two bucks, three bucks at most for. Um, it takes a long time for them to sell, usually, but it's a pretty good return on them. Uh, this crimp wheel sold for $10 plus shipping. This is kind of neat. Um, we've got these for Darcy, and I've, my, my dad had some extras of these that he wanted me to sell for him. It's called Teach My Toddler, and I think they do one that's called Teach My Baby. Um, and it's got different things, like there's numbers, uh, letters, like all these different curriculum things you can use with your kids. That, that's pretty neat. All right, here's some more of my retail arbitrage. This tennis racket, I picked this up four or five days ago. And I got two different sizes, the sizes of the grip. So this is a four and three eighths inch, and I got the four and a half inch. And this sold like the next day after I listed it. I've got eight of these, and then I've got a couple of the other size. I paid 16 a piece for these, and it sold for $60 plus shipping. All right, this is one of the coolest things I've found in a while. I got this at that store where I got all of the car stereos. I paid 20 bucks for this. It is a light-up phone. And as you can see, it is totally new in the box. It's never been taken out. It's got the styrofoam, the tape. I mean, this thing has never been pulled out. And it's got this um, neon bulb. You can see that neon in the phone, and it lights up blue. Uh, some of the other listings that didn't have the box, they had it lit up in their pictures, which looks cool, but I didn't want to take it all out and, you know, it's only new old stock once, so I decided to leave it in and just show all the pictures. Um, and it sold for $85 plus shipping. Okay, this Beretta uh, rolling duffel bag. I got this at a yard sale at least six or seven months ago. I paid 10 bucks for it. At first, I listed it near 100 and it wasn't getting many looks, wasn't getting any watchers. So, like each month, I think I lowered it 10 bucks and it finally sold for $69.99 plus shipping. Uh, this is a backpack my dad gave me to sell. Uh, L.L. Bean, pretty good brand. Uh, it sold for $29.99 plus shipping. This thing was mint. I mean, absolutely new. Never used. There was a lot of signs that showed that they had never used it. Uh, this Anderson Rocket Tech bat I picked up for a few bucks. I thought this was worth more. This this bat used to sell closer to like $100. And I guess, you know, the market's changed over the years. Now it was like $25. I was kind of surprised. Because when I bought it, I didn't even look it up until I got back home and was seeing what it was selling for. I was a little bit disappointed. But it did sell quickly. Um, sold for $24.99 plus shipping. It was really What's really weird about this bat is it says fast pitch right on the barrel. So it's fast pitch softball, which is women's softball. And typically those bats range in length, you know, from like, I mean, they, they, they go pretty small, but the I think the longest I've ever seen is like a 33-inch. This was a 34-inch, which is typically a slow-pitch bat, and it was 26 ounces. That that difference between 34 and 26 is like a minus 8. Um, that's pretty typical for a slow-pitch bat, uh, so I was really surprised that it was a fast pitch. But anyways, um, it sold for pretty good money, 24 dollars plus shipping. Here is another... Uh, the, paste ointment that I sold for $8.99 free shipping. Here's some underwear I sold. <laughs> um, I bought a bunch of this at an online auction maybe a month or two ago. I paid up for them. I think there was like a dozen pair and I paid like 60 bucks. But I've already, And there was other brands and I've already sold four or five of the other ones for like $30 a piece. Um, it's amazing what the market is for this like vintage underwear. I don't know why people are paying so much but they like it. Um, this pair sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Okay, last but not least, sold another lot of that tape for $19.99 free shipping. That's all my sales for this week, guys. I really appreciate you watching. Uh, if you've been selling some cool, interesting stuff, leave a comment below. Let me know about it, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.